I'm probably freaking out for absolutely nothing and it'll be just fine. But... Hey guys, welcome back. So we're on to part whatever this is uh, of <laughs> working on the 98CR work truck. And as you can see, I'm not dressed for painting anymore, so it must mean that we're pretty well done. But, you know, it looks really nice right here. There's a cobweb coming already. Apparently we've got some pretty major orange peel issues, which is rather sad. Um, the other side I'm looking at, and I'm kind of wondering if we actually ended up with too dark a paint color, or if a guy put it on too light, or what. But uh, you can see that in the paint. Looks okay right here, but some of the lighting I was looking at is kind of dark, and it kind of looks like maybe it's got too much blue in it, and I'm probably freaking out for absolutely nothing, and it'll be just fine. But what I've learned from my little bit of research, and I don't know if I totally penciled this into my digital project, was that we're going to need to buff out orange peel, and apparently that's fairly common on any paint job. Mine will be worse, we know that for sure. Anyway, I think what we're going to do tonight is get it out of the garage and see what it looks like in the daylight, because you really can't tell until the guy actually gets in there. So. Anyway, I think it's going to be an exciting episode. It might be filled with surprises, but let's get to it. Well, there she is, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, got some stickers there, yeah. Believe it or not, the colors aren't looking near as bad as I thought it was going to, so it's actually pretty close. It's actually pretty close. It, uh, yeah, definitely needs a puff buffing yet. And you can see here, it kind of looks like there's something wrong with two different pieces, but it's just because this is really really orange peel yet um, but if we sand that down I would say I think it's looking all right so but there's no more rust on the truck who knew that that was possible to get that truck without rust on it a little sunshine effect there I guess I gotta spray my frame down because apparently that's all I got a little over spray on it but that's okay more than a few minutes ago anyway I was pretty scared not gonna lie about how bad it was going to look. My body work's coming through, it's a little rough. A few pieces we got to do a little black spray paint. <laughs> I think once we do that, and it's kind of hard to tell, but this paint is pretty, uh, not faded, but it just needs a polish as well, so. Yeah. My body work, hard to even tell where that fender line issue was, that's all solved. And there's actually a fender there now, which is pretty impressive. I'm feeling a lot like less stress at the moment. A lot less stress. So that was kind of scary what the color was going to really be like. Like I'd mentioned in the earlier in the video here that it seemed like uh, the, the green was really looking blue on the new paint color but uh, no I think the guys did good. Got her matched up. Um, it might be a little darker below the trim but to be honest with you that's not really something that's bothering me. I think we can easily work with that and uh, polish her rest up and she's gonna look eh not like new but freshened up it's gonna look freshened up anyway so okay so this might get to be a bit of a two part you might see me start where I am and the day may change and it might be daytime again and I might be still working on this so what my plan is I'm gonna try the 2000 grit Try and get this sounded down, sanded down to a point where we, yeah, are kind of happy with it. And I'm gonna try it. I don't have the right buffer, so I'm gonna have to get one of those yet. But uh, we'll see what we can do here, and hopefully, it, hopefully it's. 
de los hoteles. Okay, so um, you can see it's another day. It's a different day. It's multiple days in between here. <laughs> Everything is folding together as one. My neighbors are over there. Uh, so you can see we're working, it looks like a complete mess. What I've ended up doing is we have a 600 grit sand done on that side, 400 grit sand done on that side, and we gotta do a 1200 grit yet. Cab is okay. I've got a little bit of rattle canning touch up I'm doing there. Not great. Um, but I picked up this buffer the other day. This is a kind of a variable speed, high speed buffer, which allows a person to get uh, some pretty good traction. Not gonna lie, that girl's pretty wild, so it uh, it's taken a lot of effort to get that thing done. But I picked up some chemical guys, high, I kind of some kind of high quality uh, cutting cutting compound, and then I've got the polish after. So that's what the fender's looking like. It's looking better. It's not perfect. I think I actually need to do one more round of 1200 on here just because it's close, but it's just got, I got to run here and ah, uh, just so close. <laughs> but anyway, that's where we're kind of at the meantime. If you want to see what we're going to end up like, uh, working on the other side a little bit and that looks pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Pretty happy with that. A little touch up paint going on down there, but I've also got underneath the truck you can see I sprayed the frame because there's some major overspray. I just undercoated it, which you know I don't know if it's going to make any difference on the long term value of it, but it does look a lot better being blackened up than I black. So this side's starting to come together. I got a wheel with some overspray on it that we can clean up. Uh, we've done a little polishing on the door here. That's looking shiny. And if I'm not going to lie, I think this side's going to turn out really good. I'm not quite sure about the other side, if I'm being honest. But the wheels are starting to look like real crap here. And they're just terrible. Real terrible. Ick. Ick wheels. So anyway, we gotta do something with that. But this side, basically, I gotta stick trim on. I got one little bit of polishing on this front end of the box here to get that straightened out. And polish that guy up. Mud flap. Torque the wheel. Put the tail light back on. And should be good to go. Maybe one more touch a coat of paint there. So that's where I am tonight. That's what I'm working on. I'm hustling trying to get this all done. <laughs> There's so many pieces of it. It's just going on and on and on. Uh, but uh, so yeah, let me know what you think. Am I doing something wrong? Could be.